Duffy is stealing the attention. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. It's been a long time since I've done a car related. No, it's not. That's what you're on the channel. I have a video focused on one car. In the last video, I revealed my new car, which is this lovely 2002 Audi TT, but it does have a few things wrong with it. Anyway, 10 minutes after buying it, it broke down. Uh, it overheated and it's suspected water pump. So that is getting changed. It's either going into a garage on the 3rd of April or some guy's coming here, but the guy's not really replying to me, so it's probably gonna have to wait until the 3rd of April until I can actually drive it. In the week and a bit that it's been sitting here, um, I've tried and tested some things, seeing what's up with it, and I know that it's got some problems. Uh, a big one which I found out yesterday, this is not what I wanted to see. This is so typical, isn't it? Where could this be coming from? I don't know. It's got a lot of oil underneath it, so there's a big oil leak coming from somewhere. But we'll get into that, we'll get into all the good stuff. The bad stuff, not the good stuff, because it is bad stuff. But I think the first thing, something massively wrong with this car, and I can't believe no one's actually said anything, it doesn't have a BWTV sticker on it. We'll purchase these in the description below. BWTV, Big Cartel. Com. On a serious note though, thank you to everyone. In the last video I said like a huge thanks to everyone and since that video I've pretty much almost sold out all my stickers so if you want to get your hands on one there's a limited stock remaining. So yeah, thank you to everyone who's purchased one. I'm hoping by now that they are with you. Make sure you send me over a picture on Instagram and I'll give you a shout out once it's on wherever you're putting it on. I don't know if you've got cars, some people don't know. Anyway, I speak way too quick. Right, where are we putting this? I asked my mum what sticker I should put on. She said a white or copper in the different design. Which sticker should I put on the Audi? Are you asking me? Oh my gosh. This, this is a big decision. You're mixing up all the colours now. Right? Yeah, what are you sorry. doing? Yeah, this one or this one. All oh, right, yeah, so white or copper. So and the back. people are behind you, they can read it. All right. Because this car's a bit more bubbly, we're going for this one, which is the rounded sort of happy style. Are we saying the bottom or are we saying the top? I think the bottom. Yeah. A couple of people have messaged me saying that these stickers aren't sticking. If you just go to peel it as soon as you get it, it probably won't stick. So the best thing to do, if you rub down, just to make sure it's sticking to the front, you want it to be sticking to the see-through bit. Lucy's car has also been branded now. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a nice black. That's, that's not, like a matte black. That's like a matte, I didn't even know that. Can you peel that? So glad that worked. Imagine if that didn't work. And I like said, this is how you do it, and then it doesn't actually do it. That would have been embarrassing. I, I think about there. Oh, okay, so I'll use like this, and that, yeah, that's sort of, should we say there? Tiny bit to the right. Yeah, I reckon that. So we like to go back now? Yeah, this on now. Oh. That's looking good. See, now. It's now car. now it's my car. So let's get into things which are wrong with this car. I haven't driven it much, so I don't know if there's actually anything wrong with it. But the first thing I did, oh here's one of the things. The window doesn't know that it's open. So we're gonna have to get some contact cleaner to spray in there so that, that sort of that sorts itself out. Oh and another thing, these cars stink. They all stink. Which is why well, I've got an air freshener. We're gonna fix that later. But anyway, the first thing I did, I took all the plastic trims off. Apart from this bit, I don't actually know how you take this bit off. I, I don't know how you do it. Anyway, I took all the plastic trim off, and as you can see, there is a lot of grime and grease and oil everywhere on there. Obviously, when the water pump is done, today we're gonna go pick up a rocker cover gasket, a rocker cover gasket, and also the half moon seal, which you can see, you can see all like the oily grease down there, which is not nice. So that is probably priority number one once the car's actually running again, uh, along with a new dipstick. I showed it on my Instagram, but look at that. Look at all that crap. It's like snapped in three or four different places. So that needs to be changed. Rocker cover gasket oil dipstick i feel like i feel like the injectors are probably leaking as well which is all of this it's just very dirty so i think injector seals need to be done as well and then i'm going to take you and go under the car because under here oh wait let me turn that filter off this has a lot of oil under here i'm hoping this is the dipstick or the rocker cover gasket windows open please 
Don't have the convertible working, but we got windows. We're just grabbing the rocker cover gasket, dipstick, dipstick, hosing, and something else, but I can't remember. I shall show you when we're there. 100675. You too. Got the gasket, we got the new dipstick. Put some O-rings as well, because the... Oh, this one might not, actually. But the dipsticks are, are supposed to have O-rings in them, otherwise they leak, and my Golf one is probably leaking. To fix the smell of this car, we need a new air fresher. This is not sponsored by Auto Finesse, but if Auto Finesse are watching this, and you want to sponsor me, slide into the DMs or if you're any brand and you want to sponsor me, you know what to do. I can smell that. Bloody hell. That's strong. Do I leave it in the bag or should I just get it out and say fuck it? Leave it, leave it in the bag. Leave it in the bag. For now, yeah. It's Christmas themed and it's in the middle of summer, but fuck it. Am I right? Feeling a bit peckish. Hungry work, dude. It is, isn't it? Even just looking at that, that's hungry work. I haven't even done anything. So yeah, I've taken all the trims off, apart from this. I don't know how you get this off, that's another thing. Another thing is that this car has a really big heat shield rattle and when you go under the car you can see that it's that heat shield. Let me zoom in on that. Get a piece of that, that heat shield. That rattles on the exhaust a lot. Uh, so yeah, we need to go cool that down or do something about that. That's mainly the things on the outside and in the engine bay. There's a lot of oil everywhere. So we're gonna need to change that. Give it, probably give it a good clean as well. All of this crap is where the RAC man was trying to figure out what was wrong. And he took this off and he just let it all spray out, which is annoying. Going back inside the car. Yep, obviously this thing. You need to do that. In here, this car sits so low down. I think this chair is broke. Is this supposed to do something? Because this doesn't do anything. Back inside the car, the clocks don't work. Uh, the miles per hour is off. You can see it already. It's not even sitting at zero. When that turns on, that's all. It's got missing pixels and things like that. So that needs to be changed. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be getting custom made set probably. The interior is all right. It needs, like this bit probably needs cleaning up. Uh, the roof works. Okay, the big one. This button doesn't work. It locks, but it doesn't unlock, which means that I can't get into this. This is locked for some reason, and this doesn't work. And the key also doesn't work. I think the key needs a new battery, and I don't know if that's related. None of the buttons on the key works, but the key obviously goes inside the car, and you can unlock the car from the key itself. The remote key doesn't work. The unlock button here also doesn't work, which means I'll never be able to get into that. I don't know really why that's happening. I have tried Googling it quickly, but I can't find anything for that. The big thing, which we are now going to find out. I was going to be using a specific app for this, but the people who would be sponsoring this video are not replying to my email, so we're going to have to wait. We're going to be using this cheap eBay code reader, and I do need to go get the key now. Just grab the key. And yeah, like I said, none of these buttons seem to work. You can't pop the boot, you can't lock it, you can't unlock it. I don't know why, and I'm guessing that's related to that maybe. Or it just needs a new battery. I'm not really sure. What we're now going to be finding out is how many codes this thing has. So. If you don't have one of these, I just recommend it. They're like a fiver on eBay, and they can tell you what's gone wrong. Cool, plugs in like that. You get this screen up, then you need to get the key, put it in, and just turn it. Oh, then some weird noises happen. That's what I'm talking about, though. Oh, that's not a nice noise. That is not a nice noise, is it? That's another thing wrong with this car, then. How do you turn this off? Oh, off? Ah. Clever, that's how you turn it, I didn't even know that. I think something's wrong with the radio. All the speakers seem to buzz. So right, so focusing on this, when you, you go into engine, enter, that means scan and then it starts scanning. And to find out, we have five codes, which I think is the same as what I had last time. So I'm gonna Google these codes quickly. Okay, so I've just had a quick Google of all five of these codes. Three of them are to do with misfires. The first one's to do with the cooling system and the last one is to do with the battery was probably removed or it died. There's mainly only two things wrong with this. So it could be the coolant temperature sensor, it could be the thermostat, or it could be because it overheated, it's now thrown up a code. But we've got a thermostat and we've got a coolant temperature sensor and that's inside. So I could be doing that today or I could be doing it another time. When I do the rocker cover gasket, for example. Now the, the big one I'm worried about a little bit is the fact that it's got a misfire. When I drove it, I couldn't really notice a difference, but when it's on, you can tell that there's a bit of a, a stutter. There's something not quite right. That could be, I think that could just be a, a split in one of the hoses. And obviously the fact that there's pretty much a massive hole where the dipstick should be. So it could be leaking out of there, throwing a code, making it misfire. It could be different splits in different hoses. Things that I'm not really too worried about at the moment because they're all simple fixes. It's just get a different hose and replace it. But the thing that I don't know what to do, let me go show you. <laughs> you okay? 
What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> that is actually wallpaper quality. You could put that as your wallpaper. So if we look in here, none of this has ever been replaced. This is... There's also a weird buzz coming from this. And I don't know why. That's another thing. I'm literally just finding faults as we go along. There's a buzz somewhere here. It sounds like... It sounds like it's the alternator. Does anyone know anything about alternator buzzing? Because that's not good. Alternator or something underneath there uh, buzzing. But yeah, these are the hoses which seem to be very, very weak. Like that, for example, is literally collapsing in my hand and it's not going back out. So I don't know whether to just do another N249 delete. Uh, I want to keep this car stuck. At the same time, trying to find different hoses for all this crap is gonna be an absolute nightmare. I mean, to be fair, that one is literally just from the tip up to that and then that splits there. So that's simple enough. But then you've got this one, which leads down, I think under to, oh, I, I was trying to get this off yesterday, but this one is stuck in there and I cannot get that screw out. That pipe obviously goes down into the crank hose where it comes out of the crank or the oil crank thing, whatever it's called. Basically, I need to just redo all of the wires here and all of the pipes. All of this stuff just makes it look so messy. This is obviously the N249. <laughs> it just looks so ugly. I'm gonna need to disconnect all of that anyway when I get this off, which means taking that out, getting this all off. Yeah, not a very pretty sight, I have to admit. And there's just, there's just so much oil down there. Hopefully it's not the turbo. Like I said, from when I drove it, there was no funny noises or anything. We'll find out when it's changed anyway. Not the turbo, but when all the cam belts and stuff are changed. They're the, they're the things that I want to change in here and we'll do one by one. First one is going to be the rocker cover gasket and at the same time, we'll do the coolant temperature sensor and try to get to the thermostat as well. So stepping away from the actual mechanical side of it, this wing has a dent, but we've, like I said already, we've, we've got a spare wing. It's not even that big. You can hardly really notice it. That's pretty much it. That's how it goes. And there's obviously always a fucking motorbike. Oh, they're so annoyingly loud. This could be your car. I think I prefer mine. I think I prefer yours as well. It's so sad to see this car sitting here on a day like today and I'm not driving it. Which is why I just want to get this cam belt done as soon as possible. It's just sad to see this car sitting here. On the positive side of things, the brakes are new. He says it's just had a service, but I'm going to service it anyway as a just in case. And that thing is still buzzing. It's vibrating the whole car. Like, it's not a lot, but... I don't know what that is. And it's annoying. I need to get this plastic bit off. So yeah, that's the main things wrong with this car. And the things that we're going to be doing and see how we get on from there. I don't expect this car to run amazing at the end of all of this. Let me know if you guys are excited to get to see me get this car back up and running. This is probably the first project that I've got on the car, alongside mine. I wouldn't really call it a project. I don't want to call it a project because that's really cliche. It's not a project, it's just something <laughs> I wanted to do. If you've got one of these cars, let me know what you think any of this stuff could be. And obviously seeing the condition of it from up here, I'm going to assume that it is just split hoses and things like that. I'm just thankful that there's hardly any rust on this thing. Thanks for watching guys. The uploads won't be as drawn out as they recently have been because obviously the car is going to be worked on now. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video.